Well, good. What is it? Afternoon now, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's afternoon. <laughs> good yeah. afternoon. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, in 2022, the prank had its world premiere at South by Southwest, and now it is is having its theat theatrical release. Do you think this is a great time to uh, have a pivotal time, actually, to have this release in theaters? Yeah, I mean, I think at first when it premiered at South by, we were hoping that it would go to theaters then, but, you know... Sometimes you don't know that things are blessings in disguise. So I think actually coming out right now is even better. I think that people are primed to go back to the movie theater. We had such great movies last year. And the fact that we're an indie movie, we're kind of holding out for a theatrical release. I'm really proud that we're going to play in theaters across the country. Yeah, I, I uh, think that it's like a perfect timing with, with you know, social media and manipulation, how easy it is to get um, information out there that is incorrect and how it easily can can have a movement. Do you think that that piece of the, I mean, obviously the comedy of horror, there's a, lots of parts of it. Um, and that piece of it, the way that you have shown, directed it, that there's a perfect uh, time and just, be, and that it's the indie, that it, but it could have even more depth. Yeah, I mean, what's so kind of interesting is that at the time when we made the movie, the conversation about AI wasn't wasn't on the table. And right. now that's kind of all anybody can talk about. So it's kind of even gotten more relevant, the fact that like you can't really trust anything that you see on social media, that photographs and videos are fabricated. Um, that's exactly what this movie is kind of exploring and the dangers of using that and weaponizing that against somebody that you don't like. Uh, you know, if you want to pull a prank on your teacher, like, what does that mean? So I think it is really uh, important to kind of talk about, even if it is in a fun, you know, dark comedy. Yeah, I think I think it's even it's even even more topical just because of this past week and uh, Kate Middleton, <laughs> Princess Kate, and the kind of controversy about you know the photoshopped or AI manipulated photo that they had to take down. So I think I, it's I think it's bravo. I think this time you could have it even ah, more perfectly. <laughs> I, as a director, um, you have this cast that is coming from, uh, you know, the legend Rita Moreno, a veteran actor Keith David, and then you have the younger, talented cast. How, how do you, with all those kind of levels, is that kind of, do you get anxious about it because it's such you know, legends and performing, and then to some, like the younger cast, that has to be a, a whole range that you have to use your skills. I, I think it's actually more exciting. I think what I love about the prank, not only is it, you know, comedy and thriller, it kind of walks that tone. I think the same thing. I love the idea when you can have different generations kind of butting up against each other in different styles of acting and comedy. And so really, it's just more of a challenge that's exciting. You know, the way that Keith David works is very different than the way Ramona Young works and that Rita works. So to me, it's just more of an exciting challenge. And it was never boring. Fantastic. Uh, so when you're doing this, there's there's kind of the the ending. There's you know there's twists and everything, and there's this ending that you know might seem like you know this could turn into kind of like a horror franchise. Uh, there could be some sequels. Is there any talk about that? And would you come back and be involved? I mean, I've jokingly said like the you know the sequel should be you know I don't want to give too much away, but. No, uh, Rita, and Kate, <laughs> Rita and Kate are great on screen. So maybe there's a sequel where they kind of meet back up. Yeah, or even like a prequel. You know, like oh, yeah. how did this all? How did this all come out? I mean, there's so many deaths that you could you could go here so many different ways. And do you think that uh, with the theatrical release, is there anything that you would like to share that uh, would bring you know people to the theater to see to see them see the prank? I mean, I think if you love movies and you want to support indie film, I feel like please go see The Prank because that's the only way that more movies get made is that if smaller movies get watched. So if you go to the theater, go see The Prank. Great. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.